You think effects like this are cool on video? Wait till you see it on digital photos. I'm gonna show you how to create a glitch effect in Photoshop right now. Hey, what's up guys? Justin Seeley here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel where I'm helping you become a better creative professional. Each and every week we're diving into your favorite apps like Photoshop, Illustrator, and Lightroom, teaching you things and showing you how to be more productive and giving you practical career advice to help you grow your creative business. Today, we're jumping into Photoshop CC so that I can show you how to create this really cool glitch effect on your digital photos. People are using this technique all over the place, including video and still photography. And it's really simple once you know the secret. Let's check it out. All right, so here we are inside of Photoshop and this is the photo we're gonna be starting off with creating our glitch effect. And the first step here is just to create a copy of the background layer with Command or Control J on your keyboard. I'm gonna go ahead and rename this layer Glitch because this is the layer that we're actually gonna create the glitch effect with. Then I'm gonna go up to the image menu, choose adjustments and select black and white and then just hit okay to the default. Now I am doing a destructive edit here and that's totally okay for the purposes of this because I am working on a copy of the background layer. Once I have that done, what I'm going to do is double click on the right hand side of the glitch layer. That's gonna open up the layer style dialog box and allow me to go to the advanced blending options. And what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna turn off the red channel. When I turn off the red channel, I'm gonna click okay and then you'll notice when I come back out here to my image, if I start to move it to the left or to the right, I get that glitch effect automatically. Pretty cool, right? So I'm just gonna leave it something like that. Now this little edge over here, we can fix that with Content Aware Fill a little bit later or we can simply crop it out, either one. But for now, let's just continue working on the glitch. So next what I'm gonna do is create a composite image on top of this and I'm going to do so with a big keyboard shortcut. So on the Mac, you're going to hold down Shift, Option, and Command. And on the PC, that would be Shift, Alt, and Control. And then you're gonna press the letter E on your keyboard. That's gonna create a new composite layer of the original. And then I'm going to double click to rename this one and I'm gonna call this one Scans and Errors. So basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna add some scan lines to this and we're also going to create some really glitchy error looking parts in it. So first things first, let's grab our marquee tool and I'm just gonna make some selections of this. This is totally up to you how you do this, but I'm just gonna create some rectangles here and you can get creative with you know how you do this. But in this case, I'm just gonna do something like that. And I'm holding down shift to create all these. So I'm gonna create a series of these first kind of like that and then I'm gonna grab the move tool and with the move tool selected I'm going to just hold down the option key on Mac alt key on PC click hold down the shift key and we're just gonna move these over just a little bit just to create that little glitchy like effect like that then we're gonna grab our marquee tool again and I'm gonna create some more lines down here this time just making a few, not that many. And grab the move tool again. And just do the same thing, duplicate these over to the side there. Something kind of like that, there we go. Just to create that little glitchy like effect. And now on top of this, I'm going to add some scan lines. Now this is what used to be on TV when you had a CRT TV. I know kids, you probably don't know what that is, but old school TVs had these lines on them uh, in the picture. And so we're gonna add that in here as well. I've created a pattern in order to do this. I'll put a link to the pattern in the description of the video if you wanna download it and use it for your own. It's just a basic kind of blurry pattern that has some scan lines in it that I created. So I'm gonna double click out to the right, choose pattern overlay. And I've already got the scan lines pattern loaded up in there and change the blend mode to overlay and the opacity to about 30%. And I got the scale right now set to about 90. I'm gonna back that up though because I want these to be a little smaller, so about 75. And then hit okay. And then at the very end here, if you wanted to clone that out on the side, all you have to do is grab the marquee tool, select it, 
shift delete or shift backspace. Choose content aware. And it should content aware out pretty nicely. There we go. And then commander control D. That's it. That's all there is to it. I told you it was pretty simple, right? I'd love to see what you create using this technique. So be sure to create something, share it on Instagram and tag me. I'm at the Justin Seeley. I'd love to see what you guys are working on out there. Thanks for joining me for this tutorial, guys. Don't forget to like, comment and share. If there's anything you wanna see here on the YouTube channel, let me know. I'll be sure to work it in as soon as possible. Also, if you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and be sure to turn on notifications so you never miss a single video that I produce. And that's about it. Thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you again real soon. I feel like my voice cracked. Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Hi, I'm Justin Seeley, lead instructor for Creatives on Caffeine. Hi, I'm Justin Seeley, and I'm... <laughs> <sighs> oh, I gotta get a life.